Hello guys, uh, today let's talk about Newton interpolation. So I have uh, an example here. Uh, we want to know the value of f x at x equal to 5 and we have the data of uh, x here and f x in the row vector here. So you can put the the data that you calculated in the table like this in order to easy to understand or to calculate so the first is uh, the value of x it has a fine number and the uh, next column is the value of uh, fx so uh, these two is the input data and what we need to calculate is the value highlighted uh, here so we can use the formula below the first one is uh, how uh, to calculate the final value so what we need is b1 b2 P3 until uh, the, the last number. So in this case, uh, we have five number. So we have only B5. The value H minor H1 or H minor is 2 The H is the value that we want to calculate the FX at. So in this case, it equal to 5 x1 is the value uh, the first value of the input data of the x and x2 uh, also the same and in this case is the equal to 2 and uh, so on so now we uh, need to know how to calculate this value Actually, uh, we can put the value here in the matrix form and I call this matrix B and the column here is uh, the first column and second, third and so on. So we need to know the B12 here, also known as a B2, we input the data here. This is the B1, we already know this. B2, B3, B4, and then uh, the last one is B5. So how to calculate this uh, value? You can use this formula here. Now you can look at this. This is the B2 or B12. So what we need to know is uh, F is 2 minus F is 1. So f is 2 is equal to uh, minus 41 and f is 1 is minus 9 so we can calculate this uh, value and then uh, we move on to the next column it's b13 and it's equal to f h3 h2 and h1 so f h3 h2 h1 is equal to f h3 it's 2 minus f it's 2 and it's 1 so what is uh, f it's 3 and it's 2 the value here is uh, the value uh, this value here because uh, this value is uh, calculated from the data f it's 3 minus f it's 2 uh, over it's 3 minus h2 so we got this value and the value here is the value right here so in some uh, summary you can calculate this value by using the number here and here as I draw this arrow to in order uh, to make it easy to understand and the value here is uh, you can calculate it from the value minus 41 and minus 1 
89 here and for the third column it's also the same you can calculate this by using the number here and here and this one you can calculate from the number from the column uh, number three here and the value here as uh, indicated uh, by the arrow so you get the idea and after we calculate all of this we the, the number that we need to use to calculate the final value is minus 9 minus uh, 32 minus 14 7 and 1 so we put the value here uh, actually we use this uh, formula so we put the value here minus 32 and then uh, so on and uh, this is the value of x minus x1 x minus x1 and x minus x2 and so on until the last value and then we uh, can calculate the final number here it's it's uh, minus 245 so uh, you get the idea it is not hard to uh, calculate but for uh, the data for a lot of data it be it quite take a lot of time so we need to do uh, something like coding now uh, let's take a look at MATLAB so the uh, uh, the code I write in the function uh, Newton interpolation and the input is the value of x and y and it is, is the value that we want to calculate the, the y at the point x x so, so first I said the uh, the rule if the length of y and length of it's, it's not the same it should be error because uh, in order to calculate this we need to uh, put the value the vector x and y have the same uh, uh, column or the same number of values next we create the matrix p uh, as i mentioned here so P is the matrix uh, with the side N, N because as you can see we have the X, we have Phi value and Y also has y, uh, Phi value and the column here is also Phi as you can see so it should be N, N and the first column of the matrix B is the value from the the Y data so I just put it here and next we need to calculate the value from the column number 2 to column number 5 so the first we uh, run the loop from the second column to the last column then we need to run from the uh, first row to uh, to the last row but it's not uh, the same value each column because uh, as you can see here every column decrease one uh, value so um, the number of i is uh, from 1 to n minus j plus 1 because uh, if the column we call it 2 n should be 5 5 minus 2 plus 1 it should be 4 right here and then uh, for the next column you can uh, put the number to try if it's uh, to see if it's uh, correct or not 
So until I try, I finally finally got this uh, value, and then uh, we calculate the b. So the uh, the value that I want to talk first is eight. So as you can see from this, the value for this uh, for this this position, we take it from the value here it's two and minus it's one, and then the next column it take from the first value it's three and then it's one. So this is the last value of a function here so it should be its i and then its plus j minus 1 because uh, the value here is depend on the column as well because if we uh, calculate the column number 2 and row number 1 here the value is uh, x2 but then uh, the next column it's not uh, it's 2 anymore it become it's 3 so it's depend on the column and the value is x of uh, i plus j minus 1 next is b uh, minus the previous value of the p so if this is uh, the first row and j is equal to 2 the value should be uh, f it's 2 minus f it's 1 so it should be b uh, 2 1 minus b 1 1 so if you try it you can see uh, we input the value here uh, following from the formula like this here so then we got the matrix B next uh, we, we start to calculate the final value meaning the F8 at the the point x that we want to know so the initial value first uh, is it uh, t is equal to one it's just the uh, initial value for the first uh, term here because because as you can see there is no uh, uh, related to the x so it should be one and then the y why is the value of um, b11 because, because uh, as you can see we already know this number it's uh, minus 9 so we can just put this right here and then in order to calculate the formula like this we need to run another loop starting from one the first term then second third and then uh, uh, the last term in this case fifth term so you start from one and then end with the uh, n minus one because we have only uh, it's minus it's one, it's two, it's three, and then it's four. There is no it's y. And then we start to calculate the eight. And this value here is uh, the loop. Uh, it, it's multiply every loop. So it is the value here. First value is equal to one, as I said. And then one one minus x minus x one, and then one minus x minus x one, and then um, so uh, multiply x uh, minus x two. 
so it's uh, multiply every loop and next is uh, we calculate the final value here so the first is the value initial value the first term it is minus 9 in this case so I just put uh, the summation of the, the first term and then we uh, calculate the next term this value is from this so it's multiply every loop and this value is the value b b2 b3 b4 and then b5 in this uh, example so we got the final value now i will try this uh, function first i have the value h here and then uh, y now i need to do is call the function and as you can see it's uh, the final value is minus 245 the same here and i want to show you something uh, it's the matrix b after we calculate I, I want to show what is the matrix b looks like so i run the function again and this is the matrix b so as you can see in the same the value in the table here So this is the final value. So uh, that's it for the Newton interpolation. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.